Imagine if you had to beat blocks through, but every time you fought a boss, your fruit was completely random. Yeah, it'd get pretty crazy, but it all starts here against the Gorilla King. So let's spin the wheel. And also there's no dragon fruit on here because as of recording, uh, I, I can't. So yeah, no dragon fruit, but everything else is it's game. Let's spin the wheel though. Hopefully we don't get something too broken because I want to save those for the later bosses. And it looks like we're going to be using the portal fruit against the Gorilla King. Never mind, it's the rumble fruit. Okay, you know, I'll take this too and once we spin a fruit we can never use it again so we're gonna have to pretty much only use the rumble fruit um this one time against the gorilla king yeah no this might not have been the best uh fruit for us to get we also do match or stats to the boss we're fighting so we have 75 stats that we can use right now oh, i think i'm gonna put 25 in melee defense and blocks through so luckily for me i got this fruit awakened so there's no way you're winning yeah yeah you're not you're not winning this one you're done that was the first boss pretty easy <laughs> but as we continue on throughout this video they're gonna get harder and harder so stay tuned because trust me it's not gonna be as easy as it is right now and our next boss is bobby so let's spin the wheel again honestly it would be kind of funny if we could get like the chop fruit right now you know chop v chop is that what we're gonna know Le leopard no that means I literally cannot use the leopard fruit again for this video. I am forced to use it against Bobby. Why am I getting my best fruits right now? Well, we get 90 stats for Bobby. So let's just do 30 into blocks, roots, defense, and melee. Oh my gosh, this is so unlucky. Good thing is though, is uh, yeah, my leopard is completely maxed out and this fruit is anything but fair. Bobby, you are donezo, out of my game. Saw is also up right now. So hopefully he doesn't uh, despawn by the time I get to roll my fruit for him. Let's see though what fruit are you gonna get for saw i have a pretty good strategy to beat saw so honestly i don't need don't give me kitsune rocket yes yes actually did i really want a rocket i don't know it's better to get rocket out now though than later so you know what i'm even gonna buy perm rocket because i feel like i'm gonna use rocket too many times for me not to have it and i only have it at mass 310 so um you might be here for a while i have 135 stats though and honestly i'm gonna put 100 into blocks roots i'm not playing games anymore i'm gonna put 25 into defense and 10 into melee might not be the most genius uh, strategy for incorporating my stats, but uh, it's it's what I got. And I do a good 172 damage. As you can see, Saw can't really get past this fountain, so you can kind of use a cool little strategy to just make sure he never gets past it. It is a shame, though, because I only got one move. Mastery is mad low, and uh, he's going to despawn in like 10 minutes. So I really would prefer if you died a little bit faster. Okay, he's at a little lower than half HP right now. Let's hope we can kill him in time. I actually don't know. I don't even know how long it's been. I hope it hasn't been longer than 10 minutes, though. Let's see. Is he dead from this one? No, but he should die to the second missile fist, though. We should be close to success. There we go. Nice. And we got a second ability. Let's go. Now I can use air strike. I mean, I can't use this fruit anymore. That's pretty cool. Like I can shoot, shoot missiles from the sky. Seems like Yeti is next on the chopping block. Let's see what kind of fruit we could get for this guy. All right, let's see. It would be kind of funny if we could get like, I don't know, the ice fruit It's definitely not going to be the ice fruit. Magma? Ah, uh, magma would have been so cool because it would be like a tight matchup. Like I'll play Pokemon fire good against ice, even though magma is not really fire. Oh my gosh, I don't have perm quake and I know for a fact I don't know for a fact, but I'm pretty sure I don't have a quake fruit on me, so I can have to find a perm quake. I'm already getting broke over this video. All right, the dragon fruit is on the wheel spin now, so it's definitely pop. I did not mean to spin it. Don't look. Don't look. All right, though, let's use quake, which again, another fruit I have awakened. So yeah, let him with that fatal demolisher. Oh my gosh, this Yeti is so cooked. You're actually so cooked. Nah, take the sea quake. You know what? I'm not gonna set a quake from one side. I'm gonna set it to all four. Oh no, what am I gonna do? The Yeti's coming at me, guys. Just kidding. Come here, Gablowski. Air crusher. I love uh, the Awakened Quake Fruit. It's honestly a pretty decent, pretty decent fruit. Wish it had a couple more than four moves, but that's aside from the point. Yeah, this is this is honestly like kind of abusive. There's there's really nothing this poor Yeti can do to me at this point. He's just that. So sorry, bro. You did not deserve this. Did I even invest my stats? I didn't even invest my stats. That was just pure evil. I did get 30, so I think I'm just going to put 30 into uh, Blocks Roots. Spin the wheel and see what we're going to use against the mob leader. What's he, what's he going to deal with? It looks like we're going to have to check chop him up and make sushi out of him time to buy permanent chop we should get a nice 30 stats from this so i'm gonna put honestly i'm gonna put 14 into blocks let's get that to a nice even 200 i got another 16 that i'm probably gonna put into melee because i feel like our uh, energy is a little too low luckily for me though uh chop i at least got two moves in so i don't think the mob leader has any projectiles so i think our best strategy is to just stand the outskirts when we get the move just tackle push him back a little more and then hit him with the dance yep get a little bit of that uh 
damage against him. Chop is honestly not bad at all. It, it really isn't a bad fruit. Like I'm kind of, I'm kind of shredding this guy right now. So let's see what fruit we're going to be using in order to fight the vice admiral. It's looking like the gravity. Okay. Uh, you know what, man? The gravity fruit's pretty good. I'll, I'll take that. We do also get 30 stats for this. So I'm going to put all of it into blocks roots, bro. I want every single stat into my blocks roots. I do have perm gravity already, which makes my life a little bit easier. And I'm not going to lie. I have this fruit fully mad. Mastered. Not like a huge, huge fan of it, but I definitely think this should be more than enough to take this guy down, bro. Mind if I shoot a meteor from sky? Whoa, I did not expect it to knock you over there. I am getting pretty close to my ultimate move, meteor rain. Can he actually shoot his uh, three sword strike up here? Yeah, he definitely can. Okay, but I think I'm too fast for him to hit me. Don't mind if I uh, gravity obeisance you. I'm, I'm still pretty sure it's supposed to say obedience, but that's aside from the point. Let's shoot some meteors from the sky. I'm gonna I'm shoot another one and you're dead. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're back in the jungle because we have to fight saber however everyone knows saber has to be super extra uh, so he doesn't want to be here i actually don't know if i can respawn him let's see i'm gonna i'm gonna spend the 50 robux dude i'm spending so many robux this game all right so i am able to respawn him cool we got 210 stats off of this dude that's nuts i'm gonna put 110 into blocks fruits and 100 into melee because i feel like my energy is a little low maybe i'm gonna regret that because i'm a little frail right now but that that's that's okay let's see what fruit we're gonna have to beat up shanks with it's looking like the rubber fruit oh my gosh bro shanks versus luffy it might just be cooked for shanks it might just be cooked for shanks let's see though i'm honestly you know <laughs> we can wait here right shanks we're civilized humans you don't mind me waiting for my transformation real quick all right let's go gear second on this boy you're cooked i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna let you do anything yep hit that rush and here's the thing about shanks is he has a projectile but i already saw that coming bro i already saw the projectile coming a mile away if that hits me though honestly i might i might just die like i literally might die the second that happens dodged it again and he he might just be cooked here actually let's see after this rush here into an auto attack cannon i'd even have to auto attack cannon he's out of here he's done so thank goodness some of these fruits i have mastered if i did not ooh, it would not be looking hot for the boy but now we're in the prison because we gotta do a little three-piece combo we got the warden chief warden and do flamingo or i guess like the the, the pre-evolved version of do flamingo this is like do flamingo with less sauce but he got the pink cape. Pink cape is literally the best item in the game. So it doesn't even matter. The warden is up first. So let's go ahead and see what fruit we're going to use against him. Diamond fruit. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I'm not upset with using the diamond fruit at all against the warden. I actually think this is going to work out pretty well. Because as you can see, I, I only have one move. We only get a good, we only get 60 stats for warden. That's, that's kind of bad. I'm only going to put 10 into blocks fruits. I feel like everything else is good. And then I'll do, uh, I'll do 50 into defense. I want to, I want to get our defense up a little bit. It's, it's a little far behind. Let's encrust ourselves with diamonds though. I'm also still in rubber transformation. So I don't know if I'm faster or anything, but wow, I do zero damage. I do literally zero damage look at his hp he's been tickled okay well it seems like i'm gonna be here for a while i'm actually curious hit me okay so he does a decent amount of damage i actually don't know if the diamond in cross makes you tankier or not and there is the warden so what are we gonna have to use for the chief warden Ooh, are we gonna use shadow no we're gonna use venom aka a fruit i actually don't think i have bro i don't own a venom fruit and i don't have the perm am i cooked rest in peace wallet i had to buy some more robux all right we got venom now i've actually obviously never used this fruit before so um mr chief warden sir i hope you mind or i guess i i hope you don't mind if i uh beat you up oh it has a fury meter bro thinks he's a dino fruit Okay, so poison daggers, you kind of spam. And if they walk over it, it looks like they get more poison damage. I think they have to walk over it, though. Let's see. Yep, he has to actually walk on it. Wait, this kind of makes it a little bit easier, though, because I can just have you run towards me. Yep. Oh, no, you're going to catch me. Just kidding and walk over it again. I definitely got to do a video with Venom Fruit. This was sick. Oh, what, 5,000 likes? I'm going to do a, a noob to max level with the Venom Fruit. Yeah, I'm different like that. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Should I have said that? Oh, probably not. Okay, now I got the other warden here with me. Listen, you know what? I could take both of y'all at the same time. We're playing games like this right now. Yep, just walk over it. Yep, and then I'm, I'm going to teleport behind you. I did not mean to pop ghoul, but you know what? I'll, I'll take this advantage for this temporary seconds I have it. Yep, walk over to poison. And there goes the warden, but you know what? We're not done yet, bro. I need to get the other warden out of here. And there we go. Now both of y'all are gone. Look at you, silly goober. You wanted to fight me. You're not him. What kind of fruit are we going to go ahead and use against Don Swan himself? I think this might just be normal Swan. I don't even know anymore. Don't give me Buddha. I want to... Yeah, okay, good. I wanted to save Buddha for a later time. Love? Okay. We're going to be showing Mr. Swan some 
love. I just realized I didn't even give myself my stats for the uh, Chief Warden. It's only 30, but that 30 stats, you know, that could go a long way. Put all that into Blocks Roots. And we got another 30 for Swan. So honestly, I think I'm going to put 15 into melee and defense. Sounds about right to me. Do I own Perm Love? I do not. I do have a physical one. Okay, let me stop blowing so many uh, Bobux out of the universe. Let's just eat this little love fruit right now. I don't know if I've leveled up this fruit. Okay, I actually have a little bit of mastery on it. Not a ton, but a decent amount. What is Cupid's zone? Where did he go? How are you back there? Okay, you know what? I feel like we could do a decent amount of damage with what we got. It's a little bit leveled up. Not as much as I would have liked it to have been, but you know, I'll take what I got right now. Me and Don Swan are out here playing catch. I keep calling him Don Swan. This is just normal Swan, bro. Doesn't matter though. This should be game. He should be cooked right here. The Cupid zone hard shot combat combo is a little bit broken. And there he goes. And he dropped the pink coat. You know what? Normally for these challenges, I don't allow myself to use any accessories or anything, but because he dropped it, I'm gonna equip it. Yeah, look at me. I'm pink too. But now I'm on top of the volcano like I'm Batman looking down on my prey, the Magma Admiral. And let's see what kind of fruit we're gonna be rolling in order to fight him. It would be kind of funny if I could get the Magma fruit because mine's awakened, so I'm better than him with it. But it looks like we're gonna get... Don't give me T-Rex. I don't have T-Rex. Okay, well, um, it looks like we're buying T-Rex now. 2350 Robux. Dude, I'm actually going broke in today's video. All right, so I have actually not used the T-Rex fruit once on this account, so this is not going to be fun. Luckily for me, though, T-Rex in this game has an auto, like an actual M1 left. I forgot to invest my stats. No wonder I feel so weak. I get 330 stats. Are you crazy? I'm putting 200 in the blocks roots and 130 into defense. Yeah, now I feel strong. All right, now I'm starting to do some good damage. Bro, I am beating this guy up. I am not letting him rest. He's cooked. Let's go ahead and go underwater to fight the Fishman Lord. Let's see what kind of fruit we're gonna have to use to fight him. Oh man, this is actually really fun. Like you just don't know what you're gonna get unless you get something like the spike fruit, but it's not. It's gonna be the flame fruit. Awesome. I said awesome, but uh, it's not that awesome. I have like 30 flame fruits. I'm not buying it. Yeah, I have six flame fruits. I'm not buying a perm flame fruit. You're crazy. All right. I haven't leveled up. I didn't even know I had this fruit leveled up. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit better now. Let's just throw a million moves at this guy and fly away. And yet again, I forgot about my stats. Why do I keep forgetting my own rules that I set up? I got 225 stats. Honestly, guys, I'm going to put every single one of those into blocks fruits. Every single one of those are going into blocks fruits. Yep. Look at that damage, bro. And I got my ult move. So take that fire destroyer. Oh my gosh. This damage is crazy. The contrast from having a fruit that has like all its moves unlocked to a fruit that doesn't is actually hilarious because I can literally just spam moves and beat these people up when I have all of them. All right, though, let's try not to get hit by his weird little thing that he does. Yep, he missed. Cool, now you're over there, but you can't use that again, buddy. So, uh... <laughs> You're cooked. Literally, I'm eating. Whoa, I was going to say I'm eating fish and chips today, but I don't know. I might be the fish and the chips. Oh my gosh, dude, I barely won that. And I got the trident. I actually didn't have this before. Oh my gosh, dude, this, this, these challenges are always so hard sometimes. All right, let's see what we're going to use against Whisper. And it's Buddha we, or Spider. I mean, we almost got Buddha though. My favorite. When I get a fruit that I actually, I don't have perm spider. Do I even have a normal spider? I think I do actually. Yeah, I do. Oh my gosh, I only have one spider fruit. All right, and we should be getting two. 225 stats again and honestly dude i'm putting all 225 into blocks roots you can call me crazy i could be crazy you might not be wrong but i do have my strength fruit actually leveled up where did my heavenly punishment go bro anyways i'm spider-man bro he just hit me with a rocket and i almost died you already know i'm investing into, <laughs> into defense after that all right though he's on half hp i dodged his little rocket shot let's throw a silk prison into the air heavenly punishment bro yeah yeah take that punishment of the heavens <gasps> get weaved he really thought he had me. You guys saw that. He really pulled out that bazooka thinking he was going to do something to me. That's crazy. All right, Anel is next. Or the Thunder God. We've already gotten Rumble, so we can't get Rumble again. And we got Rubber, so we can't get Rubber. But we're going to get Sound? Okay. I'll definitely use Sound. That is a very good fruit, actually. And I do have it maxed out, and I own the permanent. Let's go. We get 225 stats again. I'm putting it all on defense. Yep. I, I, you guys already knew I was going to do that. Let's use Tempo Pratissimo and get our Tempo Meter all the way up. There we go. It's all the way up so we're just gonna spam some rhapsody notes symphonic radiance yep yep yeah you're you're so cooked buddy wait this is kind of like an actual anime battle for a second here i'm gonna keep him back there though yep okay cool he used that i'm pretty sure he has all of rumble unlocked like the pre-awakened awakened version so gotta be a little careful glorious harmony he's he's pretty lit yep he threw his stupid little ball. oh that hurts i thought he used the ball version now he just made thunder rain can i please use my moves okay oh my gosh all right though what fruit are we gonna use against cyborg please give me something like decent 
I don't want to. Don't give me dragon. Don't give me dragon. Please give me spin. I literally will take spin over dragon. Thank goodness, dude. I listen. Dragon fruit is not gonna cut it at all. All right, though. Do I even have spin leveled up? I don't. Mm, this is um. This is no bueno. So because I believe I'm gonna die, I'm gonna put all 300 of the stats that we're getting into defense. You could call me crazy. You would not be wrong, but I am not risking anything. Dude, let's see. Yeah. Wow. I do negative damage. I do a thousand damage per Z, dude. This is our last battle in this in the first C. So uh, it's definitely gonna be a long one. All right. After a long and painful amount of time, he's almost dead. Cyborg is all I can see the feet in, in the in the far close view. One more razor wind. All it'll take is one more razor wind. I am allowing myself to use Ghoul V3 for this, bro. It, it just it, listen, dude. The cooldowns are too long. And he's dead. He's finally dead. And I got the ability to fly like a helicopter. Now look at me go. And we got another move, Tornado Assault. I want to see this one. Oh, that would have been so fire to use against Cyborg, bro. All right, we do got another 75 stats because of the Ice Admiral, but sadly you you can't rematch him so um uh, sucks to suck i guess all right though in the next second i'm gonna go from the first c to the second c just like that wow now i'm in the second c okie dokie time to fight diamond oh boy oh boy let's see what we get we're gonna get dark okay i think my dark is relatively trained up i actually want to get perm dark i don't know if i have it yeah i don't have it but i do want to buy it oh yeah my dark is fully leveled up love to see that all right i hope you don't mind diamond if i put you in a black that is not how i am i wanted to that's okay whatever man get into the black spiral but that's so cool it actually just keeps in there oh Ooh, 1400 I forgot to get my stats too please guys stop letting me do this we got 150 stats I'm putting all of that in the blocks fruits take these dark rocks <laughs> stop chasing me black hole yo black hole does some damage mind if I throw a, a dark bomb at you too oh also from the second C forward I'm gonna allow myself to use hockey I'll try not to use observation hockey too much though I, I feel like that one's a little too far but armament hockey I'm gonna allow that this is actually a, a way more intense fight than I expected it to be I have like a lot of this fruit leveled up too but it's it's not enough bro it's not enough at all i can see it the end is in sight take this black hole yep and then knock him back i missed how did i how did i miss my black spiral he should be dead right yeah okay cool okay i got 300 stats for jeremy and i'm gonna put 300 to melee because i'm kind of low on energy and i'm not liking it Let's see what fruit we get to use for him we're definitely starting to run lower on the fruits Ooh, ice could be cool all right cool but we have to use ice there we go i already have it permanent and since i'm allowed to use hockey ooh, look at this okay so let's hit him with a little bit of a calm Oh, yes, sir. Ice is actually probably one of my favorite cheaper fruits. So I'm more than happy with using this right now. Bro, look how fast I am. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now I got absolute zero. So I hope you don't mind getting hit by that absolute zero while I skate around like I'm frozen. Yeah. Jeremy is honestly cooked, bro. The ice fruit is just too good, especially since I have it awakened. Ooh, I got the black spiky coat. Did I have that one? I think I did. Why does he drop that? So for fajita, we get 225 stats, which I'm only going to put into blocks fruits. And the fruit we are going to be using is the shadow fruit oh my gosh thank goodness it's a fruit i recently have learned let's equip that yes sir oh that that lovely umbra meter all right though somber rebellion hit you with that and then i can hit the shade nest yeah yeah i got the shadow fruit i know how to use this okay our umbra meter is all the way charged up so let's use that corvus torment yeah man yeah man oh my gosh bro fajita is so annoying though like he actually does so much damage it's okay though i'm gonna hit the corvus torment again i'm a little weak but i got a lot of damage output so i'm gonna just have to try to play really aggressive all right can i kill him before the, the moves finish it looks like it corvus treatment he, he's gotta be dead it missed how did it miss okay i'm running you are so annoying just die oh my gosh bro like why did that miss don swan is probably one of the harder bosses for me to fight in this game so i'm not very excited about this right now i'm gonna put 200 into defense because i don't want to die too bad and i'm gonna put 25 into blocks fruits a little bit of even stats i kind of like the way it looks i need a good fruit though maybe light don't give me buddha again because the last time that happened was bad. Mammoth could work. Doe will definitely work. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I like to see. Let's equip this doe. Ooh, my awakened doe, bro. You might be cooked. Don Swan might have met his match. Come here. Yep. Get hit with that piercing clothesline. Just dodge all his moves. Doe Fist Fusilade is almost up, but I'm going to put him into the pastry river. And then when he's on the floor, hit him with the Fusilade. He hit me. He canceled my Fusilade. I am upset. It's okay, though. I'm going to get revenge by putting you into this piercing clothesline, buddy. All right. He's now in his second stage, aka I'm going to die if I'm not careful. I'm going to chill out for a bit. Let my energy come back up. Okay, cool. He used his move, so I'm going to come in. Hit you with the piercing clothesline. All right, I dodged his move there. Let's shoot another missile jab. This is, this is, this is definitely intense. This is de definitely an intense fight, but it's looking, it's looking livable right now. Hit that missile jab, and he is out of here. Oh my gosh. The last time I did that with the Buddha fruit in my video,
video where I beat Blocks Fruits, but my fruit upgrades, I had to use Buddha. And it, let's just say it was not easy to beat that guy up. Should definitely watch that video if you haven't, by the way. Okay, I got a good 450 stats, and I'm gonna put all of that into Blocks Fruits. Let's just try to get Blocks Fruits maxed up and then worry about defense, all right? So what fruit are we gonna use against the Smoke Admiral? Mammoth? It's looking like Mammoth. Okay, I would have liked to have it for like maybe a different boss, but I'll take Mammoth for this one. Let's go use our transformation, because yes, I do have the Mammoth fruit leveled up. And we're gonna stampede. Yep, yep. One of the best moves of all time, bro. When it comes to like fighting bosses, like what is he gonna do? What's he gonna do about this? Just get cooked? Because it's looking like it's working. You know what? I'm gonna give him a little bit of a chance. I mean, he's already almost dead, but uh, yeah. Yep, yep. I'm um, sorry about that, buddy. Also, whenever you see me like use instinct for a second, it's mainly so I know where they are, not so I can actually dodge moves. All right, so I actually have 750 stats for Awakened Ice Admiral. So I'm gonna put 595 of those into blocks, which will max it out. And then we have 155 left, which I'll put into defense. This sounds like the perfect time to give me the magma fruit. If I do say so myself, I could be wrong. You can let me know, but I feel like this will be a pretty good time to get the magma fruit. Instead, they're giving me blizzard. Are you for real? They can't be real, right? I don't even think I've ever used the blizzard fruit. Do I even own a blizzard fruit? I do. I own a blizzard fruit. Do I want to buy it? I, I don't know if I want to buy it. I'll just eat the one I have right now. I'm a little upset about this. I'm not going to lie. I've never used the blizzard fruit before. It's way too late into this challenge for me to be using fruits I've never used. Well, let's check this out, man. Snowflake shuriken. Okay. I mean, that looked cool. I did a decent amount of damage. It's going to take me quite a while to beat him with this, though. And there he goes. That's actually pretty easy. So for high keeper, I get 225 stats. I'm going to put all of those into defense. Yeah, I'll, I'll put 200 into defense, 25 into melee, just to get melee up a little bit more. I mean, we still care about it a little bit. Let's see, though. What fruit are we going to use against the tie keeper? It's looking like Phoenix. It's going to be portal. Okay, I don't got to swap off then. This works. Starting to get a lot of fruits I wish I had earlier in this challenge, but uh, it's okay. Like, let's see. If I portal dash, I do a good 3,000 damage. That's not too bad. You know what? Domain expansion. So I just found out for the first time that when I domain expansion a mob, uh, nothing happens. It just, it just it does, it doesn't join me. Oh my gosh. And he summoned the stupid sea beast. What am I going to do about this? Wait, I might actually die here. I might I might actually die to this because this is actually so stupid. How am I supposed to beat Tide Keeper with only a portal fruit? Who rigged the challenge like this? Bro, I'm in actual pain right now. He is starting to get a little weaker though. All right, man. All right, man. You know what? That is not what I meant to do. Domain expansion. It does still do damage and I can like actually heal up a little bit while I'm in here. All right, 1500 HP should be good. I okay, man. <laughs> First death of the challenge is to that, bro. How did they know? They were waiting for me. I just got jumped like I'm in JJK. This is not okay. This is not okay at all. My perfect KD. I was doing so good, bro. I'm hurt. I'm really hurt about it. I wanted to beat this whole challenge without dying once, but I guess I'm still not him. I died again. I'm actually getting cooked by this guy. Like, I mean, I get it. You know, I'm using Portal, and this is like an end game ish type of boss, but like, bro, it's, it's really the Sea Beast. The Sea Beast is what's making it difficult because I can't kill the sea beast so it's pretty much just me running around trying not to get hit by the thing kind of difficult though because you know it's hitbox is like the size of this map bro is so lit he's actually like a good portal dash away oh my gosh please don't do this to me right now please please don't do this to me right now just die just die just die just die domain expansion oh my gosh bro i got him oh my gosh that was str get away from me no no get away from i can't i promise you in this world there's nothing i hate more than that specific seed beast any other sea beast you know what maybe i'm cool with them but that one i i forever hate it all right they'll get me out of the second sea man i'm i'm tired I've, I've already had enough okay though 225 more stats i'm gonna put into defense and let's see what we're gonna be fighting mr stone with i'm not very excited kitsune we're gonna use kitsune i just anything but dragon bro i really don't want to use dragon at this point in the game because my dragon is literally level one bro <sighs> I, I feel bad for you, Mr. Stone, but uh, yeah, no, you're you're not living. You're not living for much longer. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, this this guy's getting comboed. I don't even have all my tails yet, and he's already almost dead. No way I'm going to kill him before I can even get all, all like my, my tails maxed out, right? I mean, I basically did. He, he's he's done, so yeah, he, he's pretty much done. I'd like to have Kitsune against like Longmore K Queen, but it's okay. All right, we got to fight Island Empress. We get 375. I'm going to put 300 in defense and 75 in melee. Let's see. And we get 
sand. Okay, that's so, that feels so random at this point. I should have a couple of sand fruits. I do, I got six of them. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have a couple of moves with sand. Not, not, not many, but I have a couple. So against Island Empress, I'm actually going to allow myself to use instinct because I only got two sand moves. And honestly, at this point, like we're in the third seat, I should be able to use pretty much everything I can use. Instinct, hockey, like any hockey, bro. I should be able to use all of it. And I died. Look at her HP. Even with instinct, I'm still getting cooked. This can't be real. I would like to say, though, if I had sand tornado, she'd be cooked. I don't even know what sand tornado does, but I would love to have it there. I mean, I have it now, so let's see it. Sand tornado. Wow, that is that is surprisingly lame and heavily sand. I mean, I just maxed out the fruit. Maybe, maybe this fruit is just bad. Go ahead and fight Kilo Admiral. I get 225 stats yet again. So I will put it to my defense. You already knew I was going to do that, though. And let's see what fruit we use. Hopefully, honestly, a lot of the fruits left behind, I don't have maxed out. And I don't... I, it's spike, dude. I, I forgot about this fruit. All right, so I have Spike Summon and Whirlwind. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Spike Summon is, like, low-key pretty good. You can, like, hold it. Yeah, and then it gets, like, a bunch of spikes. You know what? This actually might not be that bad. Especially since Spike Summon has a pretty long cooldown. Bro, he's so weak. Please do not kill me. Please. How is she alive? You can't even see her HP. Please, please just die. Don't do anything extra. Don't kill me. Just take this Spike Summon and die. Thank you. Now, let's see how good uh, Spiky Ball and Spiky Barrage would have been. Because now I have this fruit fully maxed out. Spiky Ball. Oh, I literally turn into... Bro thinks he's dope. Good damage, though. Not bad damage at all. And then Spike Barrage. Wow. Um, To be honest, I don't really know what I expected. It's literally a fruit called Spike. But uh, yeah, no, it's kind of lame. Starting to get a little bit worried. There's only a handful of fruits left that I've actually used. And I think that's like Phoenix, Control, Spirit, Buddha, Magma, Light. Okay, there's actually a, a good amount. I, I lied. But I don't want to really use a good majority of these because they're a little rough. Don't give me barrier. Please give me light. No. There is no justice. There is there is absolutely no justice in this world. Do I own perm barrier at least? Of course I don't. Do I own a barrier fruit at least? I have four of them. All right, cool. Sigh. I have 375 stats. Let's put all of those into defense. I, I've, I've literally never used this fruit before. So over. Barrier wall. Oh my gosh. Look at the damage. I actually do negative damage. I actually do negative damage. I'm making an infinite box. You'll never get to me. Wait, this fruit's kind of cool. I didn't know that the wall actually stays there. And if I have, the, dude, like, oh, can I wait? Can I stand on it? Yeah, this is kind of cool, actually. I mean, I'm going to be here for the next 15 hours, but I mean, at least I could do some cool wall things while I'm here. Like, I don't even think he can hook onto me from there. Can I hit him from here? I can't. Oh, okay. So it literally only is like a like a little bit. It's not it's not too, too much range. Oh my gosh. This is actually hilarious. I think I can just keep moving. Whoa! And he should be dead here. Awesome. What is surprise attack? I got stairs now. Oh, wait, this is so cool. It doesn't go on for long, but it's cool. Surprise attack. Uh, pff, what? What about that is a barrier and, and barrier prison? Yeah, that would have been really helpful to have a better go. Put 225 into defense. I, I don't even know how many I have left. I'm, I'm not, I don't even care. I don't even care at this point. Let's just end the video. Sorry, as you can tell, that Captain Elephant battle was not fun. Let's see, though. What are we going to use against Beautiful Pirate? Another character or another boss, I should say, with two stages. So do not give me dragon. No. This is like the worst person that can be dragging against. It's literally the worst person that can be dragging against. In case you don't know, I've never used the dragon fruit on this account. Just take it. Oh, man. I'm using my only dragon. This fruit's going to be so expensive soon. No. Y'all got to drop a like if you have it, man. I'm eating my only dragon fruit before the rework, dude. Oh, this hurts. This hurts so bad. Oh, and I'm going to do no damage. I <laughs> Am I cooked? Guys, I might be cooked. Well, see you guys in 30 minutes. Dude, it's been five minutes and he's not even even at halfway on his first stage. I might, act, it might actually be cooked, dude. Finally, I did it. I got him to his second stage so I can die and spawn in a uh, Hydra Island portal back here and he can be back on full HP. Yeah, that's gonna be great. One positive is I'm getting close to Ghoul V4 transformation, albeit I would have not liked to need to get to this. I I'll take it. This might actually be one of the most painful things I've ever had to do. Finally, bro, I got my Ghoul transformation. It this might be kinda cheating, but like, listen, man, I gotta do what I can do. You guys cannot blame me for this. Oh my gosh, it's happening. He's actually gonna die. Thank God for Ghoul V4. I actually had a chance. Oh my gosh, this is so painful. The fact that we're almost done with the challenge and we finally got Dragon is so nuts to me. Rest in peace or only Dragon Fruit, man. Ah, oh, you will be missed. Right, so almost only two more bosses to go. Longma is over here, right? Yep, he's in here. So let's see what fruit we can get for him. Please 
give me a good fruit because I heard Longma heals a lot. Please, please. Just give me, give me, give me, give me good fruit. Give me, give me. I don't think spirit. I feel like spirit could work. We should have perm spirit as well. Awesome. And we get 150 stats, which I will put into melee because I don't really got a choice. If you don't know how spirit works, you left click on blue, it summons good guy. You left click on red, it summons evil guy. Grr. But I'm going to use that end of times. Yes, sir. Yeah, this fruit, this fruit's really good. Dude, Llama's already weak as heck, bro. End of times. Good 8,000 damage. Something a little light. Wait, Llama has another stage? Why didn't I know Llama had another stage? I could have sworn he did. Nah, doesn't matter. I got the whole gang of spirits here. It does matter. I'm literally dying. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is actually so much closer than I thought it would be. Where's he? Frostfire grass. I think I can use end of times. Where is he? End of times. I missed. I missed end of times. I have awakened and use it. Just use it, bro. I don't care. Oh my gosh, dude. That long one fight almost got dangerous. And our final battle is against K-Queen. So I'm going to put all the rest of our stats into melee. Dude, look at our stat boost from Ghoul before. This is nuts. All right, though. What is the final fruit we're gonna use gonna be give me something good don't give me ghost give me magma please give me magma please please you're right there you're right okay okay whatever do i even have perm ghost i why would i even check i already know the answer to this yeah i don't do i own a ghost fruit there's no way i don't right i have four of them okay well, let me go eat this really quickly and while i still have ghoul v4 let's go up here and fight k queen again because i only have 77 mastery on this yep let's just use what we gotta use i literally hit me hit me please oh my gosh bro my ghoul v4 is gone you know what that means do you know what that means it means um means that i gotta i gotta beat him normally i'm not allowed to you i'm not allowed to use ghoul v4 Ooh, i'm a wandering soul you can't hit me i was not i was indeed not broke huzzah i got ghoul v4 yet again the fact that like we've gotten to a point in this video where i pretty much get ghoul v4 off of every boss because they have so much hp and i get hit so many times is actually kind of depressing <laughs> all right though he, he, she should just be dead here yeah awesome oh my gosh Finally, we're done. That's it. I've, I've done I've done all the bosses. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. These type of videos always take so long. They're always so painful. But yeah, I mean, my ghost fruit's maxed out now. So that's pretty cool. Like, look. Ooh, ghost busters. Oh, oh my goodness. Look, there's more of me. Wait, this is really cool, actually. I didn't know this fruit did all of this. Okay, this is so off topic, though. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I already said that. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy the video where I beat Block Truth, but my fruit kept upgrading.